Hi everyone, it's Mike from Wondershare Recovery and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the topics of when the hard drive is full but no files are showing in Windows 10, hard drive is full for no reason, or when the hard drive says it's full, but it's not. If you run into these issues, then today we will be going through how to solve this. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Many users are confronted with a hard drive is full for no reason or C drive is full for no reason issue in Windows 10. When the hard drive is full, your computer may run slower and you possibly can't store new files or data onto your hard drive. If this happens, you might want to know why is my hard drive or C drive full without any reason? Generally speaking, the possible causes can be either a virus or malware attack, where sometimes the virus or malware is playing tricks and generating files to occupy the space on your hard drive and leaving no capacity for storing new files or folders. Or too many large files have been saved on your hard drive and you don't actually know that you have saved these large files in certain folders. It will consume space and makes it impossible for further data to be saved on onto the hard drive. Besides these reasons, other possible causes include that there isn't enough disk space on your hard drive, there is a corrupt file on your hard drive, or there may be too many temporary and cached files. So how do you fix a hard drive when it's full for no reason issue on Windows 10? Let's troubleshoot these with effective solutions in this video. Firstly, we can check to see if a virus is causing the problem. If you come across the issue where you have low disk space or no disk space, but you have nothing left to delete on your computer, then this is the step that will check to see if it's not something malicious going on with your hard drive. You should inspect if a virus or some malicious software that you might have uninstalled unintentionally from let's say an email link or somewhere else is causing the issue. To check if you have a virus, you can install an antivirus software and run a complete scan on your hard drive. After the scanning process completes, if if any malicious software or virus is found, then make sure to delete them. And typically the antivirus software will do this for you automatically. One helpful tip is to make sure that you run this scan as often as you can to make sure that your computer isn't being compromised. Next, let's check your recycle bin to see if it's full of unwanted files. The recycle bin usually holds quite a lot of abandoned files that you might have deleted from your folders, but it's not being deleted from your system. Having a full recycle bin might be the reason you are struggling with space on your hard drive, but have no more files to delete on your hard drive. First, open up the recycle bin from your desktop. If you can't find it on your desktop, then go to the search bar at the bottom of the screen and type in recycle bin and launch it from the menu options. If you choose the recycle bin tools option and then click on empty recycle, all the files in your recycle bin will be deleted and your hard drive will have made some space for you to save files again. In case your hard drive is still showing that it's full but there's no files to be seen, you can try to unhide files and folders to determine whether there are hidden files and items that could be occupying your disk space without you knowing. Sometimes the disk space is occupied with hidden files and folders, which might cause the hard disk to be full, but no files shown in Windows 10. In this case, unhiding the files and folders will resolve this issue. Here's the steps to do this. Launch the control panel by heading to the search box and typing in control panel. A new window will appear. In the top right hand corner, type file explorer options and then select this option where it says file explorer options. A new window will appear. Click on the view tab and under hidden files and folders section, check the box next to show hidden files, folders and drives. Close the windows down down and return it to the file explorer and check the folders. Delete all the unnecessary files, empty the recycle bin as per the instructions before and check if you have freed space on your hard drive. Besides this, you can also check and clean up junk files and large files from your hard drive. If detected in the drive, junk files should be cleaned to free up the memory in your hard drive. For this, either use a third-party solution or you can use the inbuilt disk 
Clean Up Utility in Windows 10. In the search box, type Disk Cleanup and select that option when it appears. A new window will appear and check the boxes next to the selected file types that you want to delete. Press OK and then select Delete Files to confirm. Similarly, for freeing up memory, it is also necessary to delete temporary files that may be stored on your hard drive. Files like leftover files from a Windows installation, upgrade logs, browse caches, stuff like that, occupies large spaces in your hard drive. Deleting these files will help free up memory on your hard drive. Head to the search box and type run and then open up the run application. In the box, type prefetch and click OK to continue. In the next window, select all the temporary files for deletion by pressing Ctrl and A to select all. Then right click and select delete. Then open up the run application again and then type this into the search box and press enter to continue. Repeat the process as I mentioned before to delete all the unnecessary temporary files. Sometimes system errors can also cause faulty functioning with hard drives and it's showing up the wrong disk space. Sometimes system errors can cause faulty functioning hard drives and show the wrong disk space. In case of any technical or logical system errors, the check disk utility is the best solution. Here's the steps to follow. In the search box, type CMD and right click on the command prompt and then click run as administrator. In the command prompt window, enter this command and then press enter. Here C stands for the letter assigned to the partition that is needed to be repaired. The F shows the process of scanning the drive. R finds the bad sectors and recovers data. And the X is force running onto the volume. To resolve the hard drive is full issue, one of the most reliable solutions is to delete unused partitions on your hard drive. Before proceeding with this method, make sure that the partition has no valuable data and you don't need this partition. Right click the Windows icon in the bottom left and select Disk Management. Find the partition you want to delete from your hard drive and then right click the box and click Delete Volume. Follow the steps and you should have freed some memory on your hard drive because you no longer have a partition taking up space in your hard drive. If none of the solutions work for releasing memory in your hard drive, maybe your hard drive is too small for your needs, then you might need to consider replacing it with a larger capacity one. To replace the hard drive, make sure to either take it to a professional or buy a larger capacity hard drive and replace it yourself. There are many in-depth tutorials on YouTube, so follow them carefully and you'll have more memory for your needs. But there we have it. I hope that all of these solutions in this video can help you fix the low disk space, but nothing to delete issue. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to our channel to find more useful fixes and tutorials. And also comment down below for any suggestions on new episodes. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.